Hello, my name is Aaron Katz, a.k.a. Duckman Do, a.k.a. Aaron Seaman. So welcome to my buttonboard exercises for a Stradella buttonboard. Uh, the Stradella system is a very common system for the left hand, and it involves two columns worth of bass notes. And it's got four columns of chords. So first of all, accordion finger numbers are done the same way as piano finger numbers. So that means that we've got one through five, thumb through pinky. Thumb is one, pointer is two, middle finger is three, ring finger is four, and the pinky is five. Same thing on the right hand. Now there are two main fingering systems for stradella bass. One is the 3-2 system, in which you perch your third finger on the bass column, and the second finger plays the major chords. The other system is the 4-3 system. That's where you have your fourth finger on the bass, and your third finger on the major chords. So that's the system that I teach in a, in a modified form. I teach the 4-3 system. So here is a button board chart based on this very accordion right here. Feel free to pause the video or take a screenshot. You can refer to this chart if you need it. So you can't see the button board while you're playing it. That's why on most accordions, at least, there's markings you can feel with your fingers on the C, on the A flat, and on the E bass note buttons. On this chart, you'll see the home button, which is C, has a double circle. That's going to be your home button on your accordion, and it's going to be either concave, or sometimes it's got a jewel or a crosshatch. Then if you look in the chart, you'll see dash circles over the A flat and E bass note buttons. On your accordion, those buttons will probably be jeweled or crosshatched if your C button is concave, or will probably be concave if your C button is jeweled or crosshatched. So a little terminology. I call the buttons running this way columns, and the buttons running this way rows. This differs from ordinary accordion terminology, where they call them rows in both directions. But uh, that makes no sense to me, so that's why I do it that way. So that means we've got our bass column. We've got our counter bass column. Then we've got our major column. We've got our minor column. Then we've got our seventh column. And then the outermost one here is the diminished column. Going the other direction, we have our keys. So this would be the C row. This would be the G row. This would be the D row and so on all the way up and down the accordion, as you can see on the chart. So these exercises should work on most Stradella button boards. Some Stradellas have fewer buttons than my accordion. Some Stradellas have more buttons than my accordion. So basically, if you run into exercises that have buttons that you don't have, just skip on to the next exercise. So also, I'm not really teaching accordion notation as such. But you could probably figure out how to read accordion-based notation from these videos anyway. So in these videos, I play each exercise three times, once very slowly, once a little faster, and once a little faster than that. Also, first time through, I have a lot of text information on the screen for which buttons you're playing and which notes you should be looking at. Second time through, there's a little less information. And the third time through, I leave the notation up but you're on your own for the third one. I recommend that you play through each of these as many times as is necessary to get comfortable. So if you need to play through the slow one 
several times in a row, that's completely typical. So the nice thing about the Stradella button board is that no matter where you play from, you always have the same pattern. And what I mean by that is that unlike on the keyboard, where every key has a different shape, there's only one shape on the button board. So if I learn a pattern in C major on the button board, it's exactly the same shape in A flat. I just move down to the A flat row. So in this sense, the button board is a lot easier to learn from scratch than the keyboard. Finally, the fingerings that I use in the first five exercises, in these first two videos, aren't the fingerings that I would use in a piece of music. Uh, they're there to prepare you for the exercises that come after. So keep that in mind. All right, here we go. Thank <laughs> you. 